Hey guys, welcome back. Again, we're here at Creative Live. My name is Jim Kotechi. We have Felix Kuntz, this man here. He's a master commercial and editorial portrait photographer. Originally from, well he just told me, originally from Germany and then England and now he lives in New York City, but apparently his apartment is pretty <laughs> empty because he never gets there because um, he's all over the world doing what he does best which is studio lighting. So Felix, welcome to Creative Live. Jim, good to be here. Yeah, I'm a photographer, I've been right. doing it for many years, and I started as natural light. And the moment I started putting strobes and constant light, to, to without getting that look of flash, exactly. it's, it's very, very, very tricky. You always end up with harsh light. Yep. Yeah. It always ends up like burning out. You can't quite make it look natural. How do you make it look soft? You know, and I've spent years figuring that out. And it's, it's actually quite simple when you, when you figure it out. Why is it important to master both studio and natural lighting? For me, it was always about setting myself apart a little bit. Okay. And um, you know, I wanted to be able to control light in any situation. What if I'm in Florida, you expect rain, uh, beautiful sunshine. What if it rains? You know, and that's, if you're a commercial photographer, working photographer, you're gonna have to create that in any lighting. Let's talk about that, because, uh, and help me out here, Sue and, um, you know, both Sue and Laura Jade yeah. did these beautiful 50s glamour portraits. That's right. She asked me to do the lighting and that's really, I'd known Sue for a while but that's when we really worked together and this is where this idea kind of hatched. It was such a beautiful collaborative process. We have a, such a wide range of people in our community and yeah. a lot of people are just starting out. But well, that's how I started. Just, right? Just doing I, it. I bought some bad, <laughs> <laughs> I won't use that word, some uh, lights that were not quite up to par okay. but it still worked, you know. They, yeah. they, I bought them for 75 pounds, it's like a hundred dollars. That transition can be so smooth, and it doesn't have to be hard, and it doesn't have to be thousands of dollars you have to lay out to buy equipment. And um, I think even people who don't want to do studio lighting, they'll have an interest and start with those little things that they can add to their career, to their work, to just make it pop, make it stand out, and not make it overcomplicated. You know, I was here with Lara Jade, and when I saw Sue shooting natural light, my jaw dropped. She has, she shapes, uh, you know, she use, puts the body into the right light and I shape the light around the body. There's a really, it's a subtle difference. Yeah. I can learn so much from her. Awesome. Felix, so excited. Thank you so much.